Hello everyone, my name is Sarah, and today we will be exploring raw photo processing. Follow along this tutorial while I process my raw photos in ACDC Ultimate 10 for raw editing tricks and inspiration. Here are the before and after photos. My first step while editing is adjusting the perspective and cropping if needed. In develop mode, under the geometry tab, I'll play around with lens correction and perspective to make sure the horizon is completely straight. Afterwards, I'm going to adjust the cropping bounding box to center the group of people on the beach. When cropping, it's important to keep in mind the certain basic photography composition rules, such as balancing elements, symmetry, and one of my personal favorites, the rule of third. Now that I'm satisfied, I'm going to bring this image into edit mode. In edit mode, I'll use light EQ to equalize the distribution of light throughout the image. Secondly, I'll add some contrast. Afterwards, I'll go into the exposure settings and slightly adjust the exposure and fill light. Now that I'm happy with the lighting and exposure, I'll move on to bringing out the colors and tones in the image. Using color EQ to adjust the colors, I'll increase the saturation of the orange, yellow, and blue. I'm also going to slightly change the hues of the blue. Now that I've brought out the colors in the image, I'm thinking I'll try split toning to reduce the blue tones and enhance the yellow tones. I'll place my highlight hue arrow on yellow and increase the highlight saturation and repeat the same process with shadow hue. Now I'll add a gradient map using blue and orange as my color of choice. I've chosen these colors to enhance the water and sky to create that dusky feel. This looks jarring at first, but if you play around with blend modes and opacity, this can really enhance your image. I would like to have more orange tones in the sky and in the water. To get this effect, I'm going to add a blank layer and with the paintbrush, I'll carefully paint some orange over the mountains and horizons. Change the blend mode to darken and lower the opacity to about 50. I really recommend playing around with blend modes. They can often add a little pop to your photo. I'm also going to add a photo effect adjustment layer. I've decided on Sophia with blend mode multiply opacity 27. Lastly, I'm slightly altering the hue for a pink and orange dusk feel. Here are the before and after photos. Thanks for watching this follow along tutorial for ACDC Ultimate 10. This tutorial was recorded with one of our newest releases, ACDC Video Studio 2. Follow the link to learn more or subscribe for more future highlights and tutorial videos. Thanks guys!